Hi, welcome to Partition Wizard. Today, we're going to discuss what is merge partition and how you can use Partition Wizard to merge two partitions. We will also discuss what is a fake merge and what is a real merge. Case study 1. I have three partitions on my desk, C, D, and E. My goal here is to merge my D partition and E partition into one. Notice that my D partition has 50 GB of free space, and my E partition only used 20 GB of data. The first step, you can go to your E partition, copy everything, and paste it to your D partition. The second step, you can delete your E partition. And the last step, you can resize your D partition to use all the free space you created in the step 2. Case study 2. Same as case 1, I have three partitions on my desk, C, D, and E. The difference is, my D partition only has 10 GB of free space left, and my E partition used 50 GB of data. My goal here is the same, merge D and E partition into one. So basically, you can't copy everything from E partition to your D partition because you just don't have free space. So the first step is to copy data from your E partition to somewhere that has enough space for 50 gigabyte of data. That's for example, you use an external hard disk. Step two is delete your E partition. And step three is to resize your D partition. And step four, this is extra step. You have to copy that data from the external disk back to your D partition. Case 1 and case 2 are both called fake merge. It's only used delete partition and recess partition technique to combine partitions. The potential problem of fake merge. First, you manually copy data from your E partition. But it is possible that your E partition has some hidden files or hidden folders that you cannot select to copy. The second, in the case 2, you actually moved your data twice. You move it to external device, and then after you combine the partition, you have to move data back to your D partition. This is a double effort. Consider if you have to move 500 gigabyte of data or even more, this could take you hours and hours of time. Third, during the data move, the data is not protected. Anything could happen during when you move the data. So the conclusion is very simple. Fake merge is not recommended. So let me show you what is a real merge and how easily you can use Partition Wizard to merge two partitions. On this computer, I have C, D, and H partition. My D partition has a folder called Empty Solution. And my H partition has some data. It's called Video. I have some audio and video files in there. So my goal here is to merge my D partition and my H partition. Let me bring the Partition Wizard 5.0 select the partition, click Merge. So the first step is to select which partition you like to expand. In this case, I like to, ex I like to merge my edge partition into my D partition. So the first step is to select my D partition. Click Next. The second step is to select which partition you would like to merge. I would like to select my edge partition. And also, you can specify a folder to keep the content of the selected partition. I use the default folder name, which is called Merged Partition Content. Click Finish, and then I can apply the change. Partition Wizard basically will merge two partitions with all, it, all content into my D partition. And this operation is done at the disk level it is much efficient and it's secured and you don't have to copy it outside to an external hard device and then copy it back. Let's give it a little bit of time. Yeah, it's done. 
So let me go back to my computer. You can see my edge partition is gone. And I double click my departition. I have a merged partition content which come from my original edge partition. Double click that. And you can see that's my content over there. This is how easily you can use partition wizard to merge two partitions. If you have any questions, you can contact us at support at mt-solution.ca or you can visit our website at www.partitionwizard.com. Thank you for your time.